Let's bring in former National Security Council spokesman and former Marine Corps intelligence officer John Elliott. Uh, John, this is a new one for all of us, nuclear weapons in space. So get us up to speed. Uh, how close to your knowledge is Russia to this capability? And if Russia is successful in creating this weapon and launching it, what does that mean for all of us? Well, Carly, what's happening here with the Russian threat is that this is something that actually Congress and the intelligence community has known about reportedly for a, a matter of months. So this is nothing that's really new. So what's new here is that the national security advisor, Jake Sullivan, came out and said that, well, what happened was Mike Turner, who's the intel committee chair in the House, said that Jake Sullivan was coming up to brief them, and he wanted to have Biden declassify all the materials there. Well, that's new because Usually these happen behind closed doors, and it is rare for the national security advisor to actually say to Congress, I'm, I want to come brief you. It's usually the other way around, that the Congress asks to be briefed. So this shows that there is new intelligence here, because otherwise they wouldn't be having that briefing. But this capability, or this actual goal and future capability for Russia has been known about for several months. So it's a little unclear what the urgency is. If you take a step back, the Russians are way ahead of the rest of the world, way ahead of the U.S. in what's called a hypersonic missile capability, where they can have a, a missile going 20,000 miles an hour and, and strike in minutes around the world. And this is something that's going to be a huge capability. So we know that they're on top of their game, and it's something that we should be worrying about. It's a little unclear why the urgency, and frankly, it shouldn't be played out. In, in public with people from Congress, the members of Congress, weighing in one way or another. This should be all behind the scenes and in classified setting and not out in the public, because it really creates a lot of anxiety that is not necessary. Yeah, you know, John, you're right. It is pretty wild how this news was revealed with Congressman Mike Turner on twi Twitter yesterday posting. It was a vague post, too, uh, talking about a serious national security threat. And now some people are wondering if he is pushing for the House to pass the Ukraine funding, because he's been one one of the Republicans who wants that to get done. At the risk of making you guess, uh, what do you think this new uh, intel would be that would cause him to post a message like that and raise these alarm bells publicly? Well, I'm personally skeptical that there is any huge new intel. Once again, this is a capability that we've known about. There also is another capability by the Chinese that is something that they are, they have this called Volt Typhoon, which is a way to insert malware, and that's a huge capability that they have now. So you never know what's behind it. But what I would say to your point, Carly, is that, that Mike Turner, the chairman, by going out there on Twitter, this is something that he really shouldn't have done. And he may have another motive, because he doesn't, not only has the Ukraine funding that he's really worried about, but he also has this FISA reform that he's been pushing for a vote this week on this watered-down bill that he has. And so there's a lot of Republicans in Congress that are saying, hey, he may be crying wolf here to mm -hmm. make it seem like there's a bigger threat, and therefore we need to Re reinstate some yeah. of the intelligence capabilities of FISA. Well, so. this is certainly one to watch. So National Security Advisor Jake Sullivan, he's going to be on Capitol Hill today at 3 p.m. Uh, briefing those four lawmakers on exactly the scope of what's going on. So we'll see if we get more information on this publicly. You, you think that it should be uh, done behind closed doors right now. John, thank you so much for joining us. I'm Steve Ducey. I'm Brian Kilme. And I'm Ainsley Earhart. And click here to subscribe to the Fox News YouTube page to catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis.